Previously on Imperium, Brother Uros and Brother Manius managed to breach the stasis chambers of the Necron nobility. Now, Necron overlord Trazat the Exalted, incensed at the arrogance of the Space Marine intruders, moves to confront the aggressors and put an end to their rampage. So you can see in this issue's playthrough, we've got the Necron Overlord against the three Primaris Aggressors. So let's find out if Trezat the Exalted can defeat Squad Romanus. And we will be starting with Necron's turn one. And we will start by moving Trezat six inches towards Brother Sergeant Romanus, staying outside of engagement range. And then we will charge him in the rest of the way. And since he's only one inch, we won't bother rolling the dice. So now onto the Necron Overlord's first fight phase. And he has four attacks, so we'll be rolling four dice. And for his Void Scythe, which we will be calling the Eye of Triarch, when attacking we will be subtracting one from each hit roll. So we will be needing a three plus to hit. So getting three hits, all sixes. And as the Overlord has Strength 5, and the Primaris Aggressors have Toughness 5, we will be needing a four plus to wound. I really need to get a dice tray. So two falls and a five, that'll be three wounds. And as the Overlord's Void Scythe has an AP of minus four, and the Aggressor has a save of three plus, he cannot roll high enough to make the save, so he will automatically be taking three wounds. And since he only has three wounds, he's out of the game already. Brother Sergeant Romanus not doing very well. Can Brother Crassus and Brother Marcos push on to victory? So that is the end of Necron's turn one, onto Space Marine's turn one. And we will start by moving both Primaris Aggressors five inches towards Trazat. And then we will start the Primaris Aggressors first shoot phase. So we'll start at the back here with Brother Crassus. And we will roll 2d6 to find out how many attacks he's going to be having with his Flamestorm Gauntlet. So that will be four. And the attacks automatically hit, so that's four hits. And with the aggressor's strength of four and the overlord's toughness of five, we'll be needing a five plus to wound. So one wound. And then what can Brother Marcos here do? So again, 2d6 to find out how many attacks. Six attacks automatically hitting. And looking for a five plus to wound. That's one more wound. Trazat now on two wounds. And he has a total of five, so three wounds remaining. So now I will charge with the Primaris Aggressors. And they are both three inches away. So let's start with Brother Crassus at the back. Easily making it. And Brother Marcos. Again, easily making it. So now on to their fight phase. And the Flamestorm Gauntlets have three melee attacks. So let's start with Brother Crassus and we'll be rolling three dice. And when attacking with the Flamestorm Gauntlet melees, we also need to subtract one from each hit roll. So we'll be needing a four plus to hit. Getting two hits. So for the melee, we'll be timesing the Primaris Aggressor's strength by two. So we'll have a strength of eight against the Overlord's toughness of five. So we'll be needing a three plus to wound. So one wound. And that has an AP of minus three. So with the Overlord's save of a three, and the AP of minus three, we'll be needing to roll a six to save. Only getting a three, so he'll be taking another wound. So now down to two wounds remaining. On to Brother Marcos. So with his three attacks, looking for a four plus to hit. So one hit. And a three plus to wound. Getting a four, so one wound. And then Trazat needing a 6 to save because of the AP of minus 3. Only getting a 4, so he'll be taking another wound. So 
So now down to one wound remaining. So now Trazat the Exalted has a chance to fight back. And he is going to split his four attacks. So we'll start with two for Brother Crassus, looking for a three plus to hit. So that's two hits on Brother Crassus. And same for Brother Marcos. We take that as a four, but that's only a two. So two hits for Brother Crassus, one hit for Brother Marcos. And earlier when I was doing the wound rolls against Brother Sergeant Romanus, I made a mistake because for the Void Scythe, you're meant to times the strength by two. So that should have been a strength of 10 with the Primaris Aggressor's toughness of five, meaning that I only needed a two plus to wound. So let's start two plus against Brother Crassus. So two wounds and two plus against Brother Marcos. One wound, and again with its AP of minus four, the Primaris Aggressors aren't able to roll high enough, so they will be taking their wounds automatically. So Brother Crassus with one wound remaining, and Brother Marcos with two wounds remaining now. So that is the end of Space Marines turn one, on to Necron's turn two. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I've already done the patron draw for the Necron Overlord earlier today, so congratulations James of Mad Magos Paints, that will be yours. If you would like to be in with a chance of getting any of the future figures that come with the Imperium magazines, then be sure to check out my Patreon, I'll leave a link in the description. Let's get back to the game. Now please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that since the Necron Overlord is already within engagement range, that I can just choose to remain stationary so I don't have to move and therefore I can just go straight onto the fight phase. So that's what I'm going to do, but if I'm wrong then please leave a comment down below so that I can learn. So again I will be splitting his attacks. So first looking for 3 plus to hit Brother Crassus. So one hit and a 3 plus to hit Brother Marcos. Again one hit. And I'll be looking for a 2 plus to wound. So one wound for Brother Crassus, and one wound for Brother Marcos. And as Brother Crassus already had two wounds, he's now on three, and is therefore out of the game. And Brother Marcos is up to two. So now he gets the chance to fight back, and he has three attacks, looking for a four plus to hit. Getting two hits, and looking for a three plus to wound. So getting one wound. Oh, I also forgot at the start of the Necron's turn, as he is living metal, he gets one wound back. So he would actually be down to three. And he is looking for a save of a six. Not getting it, so now he's back up to the four. Good job I remembered that, otherwise the game would have been over. So that is the end of Necron's turn two, onto Space Marine's turn two. And again, I'll be remaining stationary as he is already within engagement range. So I'll go straight onto the fight with his three attacks. And I'll be looking for a four plus to hit. So one hit. And then I'll be looking for a three plus to wound. Get in the wound. So now as the Necron Overlord has only got one wound remaining, he's going to need to make this save. And as the melee of the Flamestorm Gauntlet has an AP of minus three, he's going to be needing to roll a six. But he only gets a five, so that is his fifth wound. And that is him done. Brother Marcos has managed to defeat the Necron Overlord Trezat, so Space Marines are victorious. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.